The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides, mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corner beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing! Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family bbq.com for more info Holmberg's morning sickness disgusting they smell they're sticky they say things that are horrible i've got a fruit fly or something flying around my face gonna drive me nuts (laughs) julino fix this (laughs) what do you do around here man you see it nope no it's it's insanity you're seeing things man I, I guess it's possible. I think it's in your eye. It's one no, of those eye it's, it's, it's doing one of these out here. He just went by my right side. Just Brett, enough. You see him? It's a fruit no. fly. Brett's not going to be able to see it from there. Besides, How am I supposed oh, wait, to see I it? Just saw it. It's by the mic. Yep. I see him. Brett's, Brett's he's been on doing your a, shirt. Brett's no, been to an Italian wedding. There's flies everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he just gets in my eyesight every once in a while. He's so close. God damn it. Uh, just got to remind everybody to come to Ching Chavez tonight. Over there at Four Peaks, over in Tempe, it's uh, off of 8th Street between McClintock and Rural. We're going to be out there from 7 to 9. Brady, you going to be all right with that? Get a hug or a handshake. From it is Brady. 9 dark. It's I'll, 9 I'll, dark, my yeah. man. You can go early. I'm going to rally you permission it up. to get out of there early if you need to. Uh, I'm there for the – I'm going all night. If you hear the word chemo, that means you need to buy a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to meet you, chemo sabby. Hey, I'm a woman. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, who's to judge in this day and age? <laughs> Uh, Ching Chavez tonight benefiting the Arizona Humane Society. This beer is phenomenal. Um, we'll rock that thing out seven to nine tonight. Eighth Street between McClintock and Rural. We always have a good time. Four Peaks is always amazing. Humane Society even better. And I'm sure they're going to bring a couple of adoptable puppies. And so far, even my little guy Holmberg, who lives over there with uh, Ebess and Nick, they email me pictures of Holmberg the dog that we got at that uh, very event a couple years ago. Uh, they fell in love with him, and I'm like, that's it. This family's in love, and we got that dog. And they said, oh, my God, they didn't have uh, – they weren't going to – I don't know if they said that they wouldn't pull the trigger. And I said, if I pay for it, do you pull the trigger? And they're like, yes. And I said, you got to name the dog after me. And they're like, done. So I kick in, and uh, they got it. And every Thursday I get pictures of Holmberg kicking ass around his house, which is great. Dom got his dog at one of these things, one of the sweetest dogs ever. We've got – we've done a few oh, yeah. really good things for these. I, when I see those puppies, I tell you what, there's a good chance – that if you're him and Han, then I'm going to be the one that comes over and goes, I'll foot the bill. You get this thing home because they're awesome. But And then uh, Rocky. got He doubled He dipped. got doubled down last uh, for the one last time. So uh, it's always amazing. And they bring these adorable uh, animals and animal lovers going nuts. The, t- the drinking team's going to be there, so it's going to be a nice packed house too. Yeah, uh, It's going to be fun. 8th Street between McClintock and Rural. Tonight's Ching Chavez. Uh, come on down there. We roll it out. And then it'll be available all over the place at Four Peaks and our friends over at Hooters. So it'll start being available there, I think, tomorrow would be my guess, yeah? Yeah, it should yeah. be. So they it should have might it. be rolling out. Maybe today. Maybe today, yeah. Maybe today you can go get an early batch there because it's Wings Day at Hooters, sixteen ninety nine per person. For all you can eat wings at Hooters, if they don't have our Cha-Ching Chavez, you can grab a Mick Ultra as well. Right there on special. Hooters and Mick Ultra bring you the Brady Report. Brady Report a good wing. Morning to you, Phoenix. Hello, world. Happy Hi. National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Never a bad day. Got a couple of baseless fun facts. Rene Descartes, one of the most famous philosophers, had a fetish for cross-eyed women. Really? And realizing he had it helped him overcome it, which drove his landmark writings on the concept of free will. Why do you have to overcome that? I don't know. Poor, <laughs> what about the poor cross-eyed girls? We get- Get them to overcome their problem, no. Rene it's Descartes, a sad day for those ladies. Rene Descartes had to figure out how he had to get over looking at them and liking them, because that was clearly wrong. French's American mustard was owned by a British company for 90 years, until 2017, when McCormick and Company acquired it and brought it back to America, where it was originally invented in 1904. Toledo, Descartes was the, uh, look it up, I think therefore I am guy. 
Was that him? Sounds right. I think that's right. He was. I'm pretty sure that's the guy. I took philosophy for a semester and a half at MCC, so <laughs> pretty good at this. It is not enough to have a good mind. The main thing is to use it well. I think before. I think therefore I am. Yeah, I like Toledo's. I think before. Pochito I am. ergo sum. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the one I had to write down on a notebook. Pochito ergo sum. I think therefore I am. That was the first thing our teacher made us write down. Best test I ever took in college, and it just proved uh, Descartes' theory. I think therefore I am. And also that free will and think for yourself because the test was you write 10 questions, you answer those 10 questions. And man, did the hands go up. Well, what are the questions? You write 10 questions, you answer 10 questions. That's your final. And people were baffled. Some guy came in with what looked like the Manhattan phone book. He, every question he wrote and every answer he wrote, dissertation on He wrote a whole book. Wow. Mine was. What number does Barry Sanders wear for the Detroit Lions? 20. <laughs> Question two, what is my middle name? Daniel. I got a perfect score. Drove the dude next to me nuts. What the hell is that? And I'm like, I think the whole purpose of the exercise was do what you want. Yeah. Yep. Don't question yourself. And B. And the guy's like, well, I just wanted to know what he wanted. And I'm like, that's the whole point. I talked to uh, my buddy Louie yesterday who works in advertising. And he said, one of the most amazing part, parts is people will hire me and I'll give them three things, you know, and they say, which one do you like? The three adver- concepts for advertising. So which one do you like? And uh, the, uh, the client always goes, well, which one do you like? And he's right. like, I've, I like them all. I wouldn't have brought these three had I not liked these three. I, I, I built 20. I broke it down to 10 and I've narrowed it down to these three. These are the three I like. Which one do you like? Well, I think, and then he said the one guy at a meeting goes, well, he wouldn't have shown us number one first. Unless that wasn't his favorite. They overthink it. And the other guy said, well, the third one. And all they were trying to do was figure out which one Louie liked. Right. Because they didn't want to give not a wrong answer. Yeah, not that, and like. and Louie's like, all I was doing was waiting for a guy to say, I like number two. Because I can work with you. You have a brain. You're not, trying to, you're not worried about the yeah. wrong answer. That's the key in life. Don't worry about the wrong answer. Give the one you think. Biggest frustration with teenage boys right now. Have an opinion. Yeah. I don't know. Ooh. That cannot be the answer to everything. Uh-huh. Did you empty the dishwasher? I don't know. How do you not know if you didn't empty <laughs> the damn dishwasher? Opinion. That's just a dumb person. <laughs> yeah. Like, come Dude, on. I don't know. Stop being reflexive. Yeah. The day it all fell apart was when I don't know became. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. When we just didn't, we just started yeah. making tribal noises and yeah. uh-huh. grunts. And we understand yeah. each other. Hey, Brett, do you want to go to the game tomorrow? Uh-huh. 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 Wow. Uh huh. I don't know. Has become just a groan. I hate it. We got. You, know, you hate your kids. Every and it's fair. They're little assholes. That's right, because they're at the age where they're <laughs> unlikable. Well, Donna's gonna start. Not my angel. Now. Yeah. Your yes, angel Donna. Is, your my angel son is, is an asshole. <laughs> Brady, your angel's unlikable too. You just don't even know why. I'm sure Kirby like stinks and spits on people, and you don't even know it. You're like <laughs> she's an angel because everybody sees it. But that's fine it. as long as we get along. <laughs> she can do what she wants. <laughs> As long as I'm number one. <laughs> yeah. I can do whatever I want. I think therefore I am. Hey, Daddy, I didn't even wipe my ass today. <laughs> That's all right, Angel. We cool? Let's we cool? Them. We're always cool, Daddy. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. He just won't see a bad thing. Got these rose-colored glasses on. I just don't care. Dad, I just took a dump all over the kitchen counter. Well, you must have had to go pretty bad then. <laughs> That's right, old man. <laughs> That's right. You are unbelievably affable. We got an East Coast and West Coast battle. Yes. Over butter. Oh, the rap battle to the butter battle. West Coast butter sticks are shorter and thicker. And it all goes yeah. back to the butter presses, different dairies used in the mid 1900s. And ladies, you know, thicker is better. Get over to the uh, East Coast. Longer stick of butter just pokes you in the uterus. <laughs> Someone asked people to name the most attractive jobs when it comes to dating. Fireman. The ideal job you want. Um, The number one for men is a doctor. To be a a doctor as a man? Hottest job a guy can have in 2021. According to women? According to golddiggers.com. Right. I was going to say. Doctor, but the hottest job for a woman? um, Stripper. Yeah. Nurse. Oh. Oh. No, it's not. That's what this poll came up with. Well, because when you ask a man what's the hottest job a woman can have, we put you in the lingerie. 
And so a hot nurse costume. Yeah, the candy striper outfit and all that. A nurse for real is in crocked pajamas. Nothing about them looks good. Well, here are the 10 jobs women want men to have, according to this poll. Doctor, lawyer, carpenter, engineer, project manager, firefighter, construction worker. Here we go. Software developer. Radio disc jock. Mechanic. Accountant. We lost to accountants? The top jobs men find attractive for women. Nurse was number one. Elementary school teacher. Nurse is still the doctor. Yeah, secretary. Fantasy. Secretary. Lawyer. Come on. Come on. He's well, real fantasy. Fantasy. I'll keep Mad Men. Don the Draper. Yeah. Yeah. Lawyer, dancer, out. middle school teacher, waitress, hairdresser, receptionist. <laughs> we don't want Both you to have made it. Secretary bar. and receptionist. <laughs> you got a low bar. <laughs> and, and like none of them make a dollar. Doctor, lawyer, yeah, but. We put nurse ahead of doctor for women because, A, it's sexist, and, B, the outfit's better. According to women, the least attractive is for men. Now, here we go. Number one. Radio DJ. Fast food worker. Well, yeah. Janitor. Truck driver. Huh. Cashier and maid. What's it all come back to, then? Maid? Money. Yeah, a dude who's a maid, which is also just a man man janitor, isn't it? (laughs) That's a woman's job is what Brett's saying. Exactly. No man would call it. When we were looking for... um, Someone to clean the house. At one time, we had a company come over. And a guy? Some, yeah, one of the- man maids. Yeah. And Ouch. Was just, <laughs> Get out of my house. This isn't working. <laughs> Were they called mermen? I don't know. The male maids. I didn't know how to- You can't do this, dude. You, uh, you're a man. I'm going to clean your house, sir. No, you're not. First <laughs> off, I've seen how dudes clean. No. <laughs> not happening. Women are better at cleaning than us. According to men, the least attractive jobs for women. Janitor, truck driver, fast food worker, plumber, security. Now, a man plumber makes a good money. A girl plumber, you just picture, has Big crap, forearms. And, crap and rogue tampons on her hands. Jesus. It's true. That's what they dig for. Oh. Where's gold miner? <laughs> I'm just saying. That's a, I'm not, not referencing your dad. I'm just, that's a good thing. Football player? Athlete, NBA. I can't believe athletes I know. are on the list. Athletes on there. What's the sexiest girl job you can think of? Like what would be on top of Brady's list? Chef. Oh my God, that's it. <laughs> Good answer, Brett. Brett worked Nailed your answer it. out for you. Nailed it. Your <laughs> chef is solid. Lady Barrister's pretty strong, but an, an English lawyer. Yeah, yeah. I, I did see Brady when. Uh, Jess Pryles was uh, oh the doing barbecue, the barbecue lady. He got a little creepy with hardcore that one. carnival. Carnival. Carnivore. Carnivore. Yeah. Carnival. Hardcore carnival. <laughs> stroking. I would do <laughs> doing it. <laughs> I don't know where the stroking thing is. Damn it! Oh, I missed it. The question hardcore was asked. Carnival would be pretty solid though. <laughs> Get on board the old Ferris wheel of sex. <laughs> the that hardcore that, uh, carnival. What was his name? Jim Rose. Yeah, oh, the, the that side, was yeah. hardcore. I suppose. That's not what you were at. Though. No. No. <laughs> no. So what, you didn't answer the question. Is Chef the answer? No. What no? is the answer then? I'm uh, in agreement. I mean, I think the doctor. You like doctor, lawyer, girl, a girl doctor? Athlete. Where's nail tech on there? Um, it's off the list. <laughs> <laughs> Been there, done that. I've got a nail tech that won't do my nails. Yeah. Does she not cut your nails? She might cut them. She has done that before, but she won't nothing wash else. your no feet or anything. Yeah. Yeah. You don't get manis from Nope. No kidding. Yeah. Have you asked? Oh yeah. And nothing. Yep. Well that's wrong. You got snaggle toes or something? Well that's a Well if she do feet. If Kirby and I are doing them, you know, it's like I gotta wait four hours. Yeah. Right. Working on those dogs. Because Earl Shibes in there. <laughs> In the room. <laughs> Plus, there's not enough room for the two of you in the same space. Big old angle grinder. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Power's dimming. <laughs> Careful on that talon there, Mommy. That one's a little stingy. She went to uh, school yesterday in your kicks. She went my shoes? Yep, I got a bunch of compliments. Well, because they're nice shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is. I be stroking. There you go. That's pretty steep. <laughs> That's what I be doing. <laughs> I be stroking. Another polling question was, <laughs> Sorry, Brady. would you take a 25% pay cut to keep working from home forever? 
No. No. Home and work are different 39% places. Thirty-nine percent of the people That's would, the would give up their health insurance health insurance benefits. Half would give up their vision to not go. What? Oh, vision benefits. Vision yeah. benefits. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Finish the sentence. I'm stroking. Here we go. Oh, not in the world. I'll give up my eyeballs to never go to work again. Thirty-six percent would give up their four hundred one k. I just want that to be. I want that song to be a symptom of when you actually are. My left side feels funny, and I'm hearing this weird song in my head. What's happening to Brady? The ambulance rolls up. Oh. <laughs> what do you think the problem is? I know exactly what the problem is. I don't know what's going on around here. Whoosh. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh. 90% of people give up their vision. Never leave the house. No, no. Vision benefits. 46% would give up half of their vacation days and sick days. Just to not go to the office. Yep. See, I think we're baffled and fooled on that one. I, I, I give the opinion. And I've changed people's minds on this. Whether you know, Some people just hate going to work. But I, I firmly believe home is home and work is work. And you need yeah, to have two different is. places because yeah. your work will take advantage of the fact that you decided that your home is now oh, yeah, work. It's advantageous to them. Completely. That's why I would never build a studio in my house as many times as I, tr- I put all the pieces in. I spend Here's all the money. Here's a question I have for you. But I'd never Mr. turn it on. Yeah. Have you ever done it before? Work from home? Yeah. Uh, no. And there's okay, a reason thank why. thank you. No, no, no. I, I thought I, you did in L.A. I'll, and did tell you, you, you that no. this is why it's changed over the year. I'll tell you right the now, The pandemic Brady. has changed a lot of people. People that True, all sort of that's started with work from home all of a sudden like I have the work from home. lived with people who work home, and I watched them disintegrate in a year because their job never leaves. And and the worst part is this being somebody that walked into the house yeah. and said, I want to rest. They want out. They've been at work all day. Their house now represents something else, yep. and it was this weird kind of cabin you fever thing. Get away. So when I, I did that addition on the house, there's a corner of that room. That wall is loaded with electronics that I could build yeah. this very studio in the corner of. And I got about halfway through that, and I'm like, I'm not. why would I do this? I'm now on call 24 hours a day, and I'm not doing that. I think it comes down to your job, too. Every doing. job would take I mean, advantage of, of you. If you had all the equipment at home, every job. They did it when you just had this stuff there. It's like we need you to record some stuff. Yeah. And then if you say, no, I'm not at work anymore, they're like, now you're a dick. Yeah. So they're like, hey, we sent you some stuff over to your office at home. We know you have all the equipment. I know it's 8 o'clock. We need this by tomorrow. And you're like, I'm not, I'm not at work anymore. Yes, you are. You're always at work. You made your home work. I think there needs to be I a mean, dividing for, line. For me and maybe for and a lot of other people, is sometimes you, you enjoy the interaction in, uh, by coming into the right. office or, or at I just work. like keeping them separate. I like leaving work at work. And I understand some people like I like working at home and everything else. I used to think I would, but once I started to build that room and had all that wiring put in, I'm like, what am I thinking? I hate now it. Now I can't have a sick day. When we when for, when we all got booted out of here for COVID the first time, I hated it. Yeah. Just stuck at home. I, mean, I had all the stuff to, to record it and all that stuff, but oh, it was terrible. Well, no that's, interaction. That's the danger of like yeah, you, that's the, yeah. that's the you having thing. a bad day or like feeling sick a little bit. You're like, well... People would say, well, we'll just do it from your house then. Right, right. Instead of just saying, I need a day to throw up all day. No. You're not going to get us sick, so we gave you all the equipment. If they, you know, And they've offered to pay. We'll kick in and give you some money for them. I'm like, absolutely not. Work needs to, in my opinion, work needs to stay as an office and then a place that you actually leave. Because I think if you're always at work. <laughs> they're, they're definitely. <laughs> oh, my God. I found Brady a shirt. There he is. Order it up. Or I'll <laughs> kick in for that. I will, too. Oh. It, it says Clarence Carter on it. <laughs> Does he say oosh? Oh, yeah. yeah he yeah, goes, yeah. Clarence Carter, Clarence Carter. Ooh. Oh, Clarence I didn't know Carter. that. I've, I've maybe listened to. This is the longest I've ever listened to this song. <laughs> Outside of a bowling alley. Well, I just looped playing. that part. Hilarious. So. There's no O. But you worked from home out of necessity. You didn't want to be there. It gets no, annoying. You hated it after a while. Let alone what we do, the interaction, yeah. a lot of times. Yeah. The timing's a little weird. Well, and... it's more fun to just be in here together. Yeah. There's this lady that lives in England. Her name's Jane, and she was really upset at this uh, donut shop she went to. 
M&S donuts because they were selling a donut called Plain Jane's. So she complained that she's not plain. Yeah. It wasn't named after her. You're going after all Janes there. All right. So they'll change it. Yeah, they probably will. They probably they cave to the to, pressure. Uh, they, they're now called Bitchy Janes. <laughs> <laughs> a new donut. It's delicious right next to the Long John's, which nobody seems to complain about, is the Janes donut, which is fantastic. It's a little circle filled with hate and vinegar. Some woman on uh, Reddit complained her husband spends four hours a day hiding out in the bathroom. She's sick of it. Working from home. She doesn't think he has issues in there. It sounds more like he enjoys the alone time and likes to play games on his phone. Leave him she alone. She says he even, even takes 45 minutes to pee sometimes. Yep. The whole thing came to a head when it happened at a restaurant. Well, that's He went fun. to the bathroom after he ordered dinner, and uh, he was still in there. The food came out, so she ended up, she ate her food, paid for half the bill, and left without him. He went to the bathroom during dinner and didn't come out. He What's the common you. denominator yeah, here? Yeah. He hates you. <laughs> there is. And he doesn't know how to get out. He got a handshake at the start of that meal, yeah. too. <laughs> he would love to <laughs> escape the marriage. I, I'm venturing to guess he's the one who loses most of the money in the divorce. So he's just trying to figure out a way to not be around her without actually losing all his stuff. Just dodge her. Spend eight, nine hours in the bathroom playing video games and reading, pretending you've got bowel issues. It's but think of that. Instead of being nice and saying, "What can I do different?" She's mad at him, and clearly he's he's making the the statement that I'd rather have bowel issues and sit on the toilet for eight hours than be around you. <laughs> Is there anything you can do to say, "What can I be? Di- how can I be different?" Rather than stand outside the door and tell him he's a loser. There's a Titanic museum in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, just outside of Knoxville, and they've got a ten foot tall fake iceberg made out of real. So you can touch it and see what the what it felt like because the Titanic, you know, they kind of you went to that exhibit where was a it in Vegas? Times, yeah, but the Luxor. Well, they kind of have that deal. What uh, what it what felt like being on the Titanic on Monday? The museum's fake iceberg collapsed and injured Oop. three people. Oop. <laughs> Don't know the extent of their injuries, but all three were taken to the hospital. The museum closed for a night. Reopened yesterday without the ice wall attraction. Some <laughs> say they got to might take a couple of days to rebuild it. Did you do the thing at the Luxor with the Titanic? It's pretty neat. They have a room uh, that uh, has a big chunk of ice in it that simulates the temperature of the night, which is, I think, 19 degrees. So you walk into this room. There's a big ice block in there. It's 19 degrees. You touch the ice. And they're like, that's what the water felt like. And it is... What they say, you have a minute, oh, or it's yeah, like, it's like, a, it's like sixty-seven seconds before you start to drop into hypothermia, and then like you're dead in like two minutes for sure in that water. It just it, it froze you, and you're in that room. You're like these people were kicking around in this. It's it's insane. And it's morbid because they give you those cards to see. Oh, if you went with too. We yeah, met that one time. If, yeah, if you right. lived or died at the end of yeah. it, yeah, because you get a card in the beginning to see which passenger you were, yeah. like a ticket, and then at the end you go to the wall and see if your guy made it. I've, I've done that thing three times. Two times I died. I made one it the made one it. time I went through. My ex-wife died. <laughs> you were thrilled about it. I remember that. My, my last name in one of them was Winthrop the Third. Nice. Like, Lived. I'm going to call my shot here. Dude made it. Amazon is offering store credit in exchange for customers submitting a digital scan of their palm. The e-commerce company uh, introduced it back in 2020, biometric palm print scanners. Basically, it's time to get the number of the beast. Yeah. Is, now you can so just you scan just, your palm and buy stuff. Signing? Oh, scan yeah. your palm and buy stuff. By the way, the number of the beast was the day you agreed to say, oh, okay, Apple 10, you can use face recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Let alone bank accounts, yeah. all yeah. the stuff. Well, thumbprint was the start of it. Thumbprint too. was the first thing we yep. gave them. Then face recognition was That's easy. so easy. Well, now they're saying better. the vaccine is too. I've heard people saying that. Oh, yeah. Is that a... That's, that's chips. Yeah, that's chips the mark of the beast. The, the yeah. nanobots. Everything's yeah. the mark of the beast. We volunteered for the mark of the beast. That's not even a threat anymore. Yeah. We pay for it monthly. We, yeah, we, we, we pay to have we, it. We volunteered <laughs> for the mark of the beast, and we actually hand over 100 bucks a month for it on a good plan. We'll end it with a couple of radio videos. The uh, first one is a woman who plays three trumpets at the same time. Wow, I've seen this on Monty Big Python. fan in the nightclub. One's in a... <laughs> out of her mouth. Yeah. Oh, well, this isn't going to be fun. Eh, oh, all I right. wanted to see Next. The I wanted to see front <laughs> butt. I wanted to see front You don't butt. want to see Goonhild 
Carling? Goonhild huh? Carling? Stroking. What? <laughs> Goonhild ah, Carling. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to play it yet because that was a tough one. Goonhild. All right. I want to see Front Butt play the trumpet like Doc Severinsen. Okay, a little Front Butt trumpet. Here we go. Let me put this right here between my thighs if I could get my thighs apart. Oh, here we go. She's one of my people. Or German, I'm not sure. I think German. Got three trumpets. This chick's talented. How do we know all three of them are going? Yeah, that one on the left doesn't yeah. seem like She's not even touching it. Yeah. Oh, that guy's bored. The guys in the band hate this gimmick. Well, these Germans are electric. That's all I got. <laughs> Uh, That's right. Danke, I, danke. Blow th- I blow three things at once. You can see it from my shy videos. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that's it. Because I wasn't thinking about trumpets when I watched her mouth up to all three of those. Well, you couldn't Fire do Schwanz. it. That's true. I couldn't you do couldn't it. You couldn't do it. I could actually probably blow three things at once. You boys line up. <laughs> all right. Well, the three, of you, teach you. <laughs> three of you for sure. Then it's a, a, a quick one from drunk people doing things. Okay. Drunk girl in the hallway. Girl's getting hurt. Oh, and it's girls getting hurt. She's in the hallway, very drunk. Oh, that's a door. That's not open. That was not an open door. And out go the lights. Turn the corner. This is your room. Oh, man. Oh, down she goes. You got to reach for that handle and swing that open. You got to do something. Oh, my goodness. A bipping. Yeah, that, that noise of her face hitting that is. And then uh, the guy filming it's pretty classy too. Oh yeah, I'm throwing this. He's one like, I'm gonna get some of that later. <laughs> from our listener Dave Eggleston, the lady sitting backwards in a chair, a lady of ample size. She's sitting backwards on a bar chair. Oh God, what's happening? She's trying to be sexy for a video. Oh, I used to like Eggleston until he sent this. <laughs> said, hey, look at these pigs. I think it's the same. Pig. Oh, it's three pigs. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> one chair. That chair is doomed, isn't it? <laughs> There's these about the, 700 pounds of woman in this video. And there's the only girls three. from the Girls, Girls, Girls video. Don't 30 say years that. Later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. These. That was all. This was That's was it. three yeah. ugly ladies dancing. Yeah. yeah. Just put that on you. you PD. <laughs> that is wild America. <laughs> Beasts in the wild. All right. I just got confirmation from Jimmy. Uh, the drinking team will be making an appearance tonight right. over at. Uh, Four peaks. Fantastic. Uh-oh. And so will Brady. And at 8 o'clock, you can count on that. <laughs> a little late. That was fun. I enjoy that song quite a bit as it pertains to your health. <laughs> Stuff. <laughs> there you go. That Destiny. is your Brady Report brought to you by Hooters and Mick Ultra. It's 98 KUPD. Hey, it's not weird. It's pretty cool, actually. No membership fee. I have heard enough of this. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.